the traditional way to preserve onions after you've cured them, they've come out of the garden and you've cured them, is to string them. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all the steps to old fashioned onion stringing so that you can preserve your onions and use them throughout the winter. All right, so when you get your garden, your onions out of the garden, you want to cure them. And that process is going to allow them to dry down. So now we have onions and their tops are completely dry. Now that makes them a little bit brittle and a little bit challenging to work with. And this is exactly why old timers did not braid onions. That's kind of a misnomer. We would braid garlic because they actually, when the garlic is dried, um, their stems have a little more integrity. So they can actually hold on and stay all together in a braid. But when you have onions, they will fall off because of the weight of the onion. So instead of braiding them, we are going to string them. This makes them really, really easy to use one at a time and not lose the whole bunch hanging. Okay. The first thing you need to do is you make sure that you have your onions really well dried down. They need to be papery with no moisture in them at all. And we don't need this length of stem, but we'll cut it off as we go. What we do want to do is pick out one of the best onions with the best tops to be our base of the string. So I found this one and it's got a really sturdy stem on it. Now, you know, I like to store onions in amounts that I'm gonna use in about a week on one string. So for our house, that's about 12 to 14. Um, for your house, you might wanna go, if you use fewer, go to about seven per string. That way you can keep most of the strings in cold storage and just bring up a week's worth to come into the warmth of the kitchen. Onions store best in a dry location, but still a really cool location. If you can get them in 55 degrees or lower, they're gonna last for a really long time. Um, so they don't store great just in your kitchen. It's just too warm, it might be too humid. So you only wanna bring up small quantities at a time, which is why I go for about a week in our household. Plus we have a large household, so we go through 14 onions pretty quickly. Okay, so I trimmed off the roots just to make them a little bit nicer and so we're not dropping little bits of dirt all over the place while we're working. Now, right here, I just have a hook hanging. That makes it really easy to work with. You could just work with a nail or anything that is just gonna give you some stability right over your head. We're gonna take good old cotton kitchen twine. Now you could, use, um, you could use some hemp twine or anything else. Just make sure it's biodegradable and you can put it into your compost pile. Now, I'm gonna just make a loop over my hook. I'm gonna tie it off on the bottom. Now, I'm not gonna make an onion string that's this long. Obviously, with 14 onions, it's not gonna take up about this much space. But I do wanna have a little bit extra so I can leave some hanging room at the top. Now, I'm gonna take that base onion that I found, and I'm just gonna make this little slip knot right down here. See, so do that a little bit better. And I'm going to put that onion stem all the way through and snug this guy down. Now this is again my base onion. So we wanna make sure he's on there really, really well. Okay, now I don't need that much string left or that much stem left, so I'm just gonna trim him down, not too short. I want him to have a little bit room in case he slips just a little bit as more weight lands on him, but I don't need that much. Okay, now this part actually goes pretty quickly. We're just gonna trim down the stems just to, what's that, about six inches, something like that. We're gonna open up our two strings. We're gonna lay it in, and then we're gonna make our stem cross over our onion and then give the string a little twist. That's gonna lock it down with the string and the stem. 
Okay, and we're gonna do that with the next one. This one already has a pretty short stem, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And you're gonna work to try and balance out your um, onion string so that they're kind of, you know, coming on all sides evenly. There we go. Trim off those stems. You wanna leave those papers on, but if there's some that are pretty much ready to fall off anyways, you can go ahead and clean them up a little bit. But those papers help protect those onions a lot. And look, I missed this last set of roots. There we go. Okay, and then you're just gonna keep working all the way up the line here. Okay, so as I'm going, I'm just making sure that these are balanced and that I'm settling the next onion into kind of the gap that is created. So you can see it's kind of becoming a full round, I don't know, kind of a cone here. Um, and you just wanna settle them in. If they're sitting just one on top of the other, they won't sit properly and they'll start to come apart as they settle naturally into these spaces. So you wanna kind of settle them, seat them right down into the right spots. You can see this is kind of a messy process. You kind of get stuff all over the place. So don't do it right after you clean the kitchen floor. Now, one of the benefits of these, of doing the stringing this way, is that you don't actually have to cut anything off when you go to use them. You can just grab a onion from the top and just give it a little jerk and it will twist right off um, of the stem, leaving the rest of them, of the string, leaving the rest of them kind of in place. Now, we've had onions that are done like this last until next March, the following March. So they can really last a long time, but that has a lot to do with your curing process and making sure that they're all the way dried down and um, your storage conditions. Having them in that cool environment is really, really important. Okay, now I have my 12 to 14 onions strung here on this string, and I wanna go through and just kinda of clean it up. I don't need all this excess stem that is now hanging, sticking out all different directions. So I'm gonna just trim that down. Uh, any little bits of roots that I left, just kinda of clean it up all the way around. Okay, now I'm gonna slide this off the hook that I have it on and I am going to tie it in just kind of a loose knot. Now this is a little hard to do. It's much easier if you have a um, second set of hands here. I don't have that today, but I'm just gonna tie it so that I have a really nice sturdy loop to hang it by. There we go. 
Okay. And there you have it. These are gonna stay like this really nicely for months on end if you store them well. To remove one, all that you're gonna do is you're just gonna kinda pick this guy up and you just pull it right off. So it's really easy. You don't need to grab your scissors to get any of them off when you wanna cook with him. They're just waiting there, ready to go. You know, little bits of old fashioned wisdom like this make life so much easier in the long run when you can just grab an onion and go and not try to find the kitchen scissors again. Take care, you guys. Have a, have a happy, happy harvest.